All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. My name is Ray from the Sky. Um, thank you for your support. Let's do this. So I talked to the bishop. I reached rank 17 for the graveyard, and basically the church is now open. Let me show you guys the inside. All right, this is where we will hold weekly sermons to increase our congregation, obviously. And uh, once they increase, the donations are increased. So that's ways of making money as well. Nothing here, of course, because there's nobody in here. All right, we can get... What? Just like that? Examine permissions and everything else, citizen. stamp we need 50 50 silver to buy that we can stamp that meat that's crazy 50 silver Jesus all right me from exhuming darn it okay so you know what let's go ahead and sleep regain our darn energy that thing's a pain in the butt to me pain in the butt on stardew valley is a pain in the butt on this but i guess it's all a part of strategy it's a simulator Just in case you're wondering why I didn't show the whole dialogue with the bishop, I had it, but something happened with the recording and it got screwed up and I'd already saved my game, so. And I'm not gonna start all the way over, play, do all this over again, play all the way up until that point just to show you dialogue when I can just easily explain what happened. Not doing all that. Okay, let me go ahead and take this fence down because that ghost wants something done with this guy. Okay. How come I can't? I should be able to exhume this guy. That doesn't make any sense. I have a, a what's the name? think I think I put him right back in the same place but basically I saw on YouTube that it a, a, a um, trigger a tutorial that will teach you how this works because there's a certain way this works rather than just randomly throwing bodies in here uh, if you do that your 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 graveyard will fall apart but I'm trying to get that tutorial trigger but I don't know let me see here move this I can just put it back you see here we go, I had to take all that stuff. Okay. Okay, see our graveyard ranking just went down, but that's okay, we're over zero. Okay, and I think we'll chuck him in the river. How do you...
briefly saw the command. Oh! What do you think you're doing? A ghost asked me to get rid of this body. So what? Now you're just going to do everything he asks? It's not like he can do anything to you. <laughs> He's disembodied. Whereas I can bite you to death while you're sleeping. Of course I'd never do anything like that because we're friends. But you get my point, right? Anyway, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of a body is to burn it. Do you know where that river leads? The river, somewhere down to the town, I think. How can I burn a body? You know what? You're one of those guys who looks a lot smarter than they actually are. Thanks. That's what I'm talking about. You need a fire and some wood. It's a bit tricky to make the whole thing burn to ash. Where can I burn it? Hmm. You need a nice quiet place, like the place I use for my meditation. Cross the road from the mortuary entrance near the cliff. Entrance near the cliff. So what, right here? Near the cliff. He must be talking about, let me see. Trying to. Cross the mortuary entrance near the cliffs. It's got to be right here. But I need some more technology to make, unless. What is that? A trunk. Cream of. Oh, it says crematorium. Yeah, this is it. We would have to make it over here somehow. We'll keep these two because we'll just put a body in this place. Um, I think what else that do, do I need to do? Oh. You guys haven't seen the uh, church cellar and the library down there. Okay, see. This is the library with all those books, and this is, we can see it leads right to the mortuary. We gotta clear out all these paths though. I just need some metal. I'm gonna have to buy that metal because I, I, I don't have anything to make it. But we're gonna repair this library though, I'll tell you that. Oh, there's some iron parts. Shoot. Ruined book. Is that a note that we can't read? Of course. Let's see what we got. We have. Only thing we can do is destroy it. Study. Oh, wow. Let's try this. Nope. We need to find a book or something. Can I build though? Could build a study table. We already got one. Really?
in the trunk. Complex metal. A repair. One forty five. Dude, we are killing it. But our green is pretty low. Let's go ahead and sleep. Okay, I'm so refreshed. Good. It's much nicer without him at the graveyard. I'm still so sad though. I'm so lonely. I was bad when I was alive. I should have been a better person. What do you mean? We're dead, but we still deserve some respect. Oh, fine. I'll tell you, each corpse has a soul's vessel. It bears the mark of his life's sins are red skulls and the good deeds are, are, are uh, regular skulls. See, this is what I'm talking about. Even the best decorations, which are those murals, can make graveyards with uh, graveyards. Uh, uh, can't make graveyard a peaceful place when it... I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. I'm sure you don't. Haha, <laughs> you better take a good care of the graveyard. I'll be watching you. I can't do anything. I'm so sad. Boo. Here we go. All human remains have their own unique spiritual attributes. A corpse gets its red and white skulls from its body parts. You can change a corpse as well by removing organs and embalming. That's why we can do the autopsies. That's the purpose. I, th I, I thought it was just there like, you, you know, like if you was to sell, sell it or something, sell the organs or uh, like the NPCs may have missions for you to weird missions or something like that. The main way to increase your graveyards, uh, white skulls is to decorate graves with objects that have more of those rifts or uh, whatever those things are. Each line that has both the white skull and a rift counts as one. Lines that have sins never count. You need to fill them with rifts to reach white skull lines. Oh, wow. Gotcha. So gravestone equals two. So our graveyard needs to be pure. We can't have a bunch of red skulls or it's going to deteriorate and go bad. And we're going to suck at the game and be stuck. See, if I hadn't have done that. See, I, you know... If you saw the first episode, I didn't know what to do with that body after I dug it up. I was kind of like, didn't know. And then I looked up on YouTube and um, dude said, uh, the channel name is Splattercat. Um, he said to chuck it in the river. And basically just explained what he explained. But I didn't go no further than that because I didn't really want to spoil it. But once he said chuck it in the river, I was like, all right, bet. Or see, if I hadn't seen that video, you know, we I would have been doing this random. Wait, where's my stuff? The skull, the stuff, oh, there it is. Okay. So now we know we want to have white skulls. See, I have a bunch of these riffs and stuff. Yeah, I got one... Basically, we want to keep everything in the positive, over zero. Over two is really good. I need technology. 
energy, so. I wanna what? You can't clear these small ones out real quick. What technology I need to clear out in the big trees? I have an ax, that's what I, that's what I don't get, but probably need another one. Pretty much we need to build a, he's saying build a place to cremate the bodies rather than just chuck them in the river and they end up, <laughs> because you know how the way of living, they might end up in somebody's backyard if they live near the water and be stinking. Let's see what he's saying. This is a good game. But most games like this are really good during the beginning. They don't start getting repetitive once you really achieve everything you can pretty much achieve and then it, the game starts to get into that like inevitable loop and that's when it gets kind of boring and you don't really want to play it anymore but most games like this you can get easily over 30 episodes at least get into the hundreds but yeah. all right so we'll take a little snooze here Hey, what else I need to do? Level up. Got hundreds of... Oh, bet. Look at this. Better weapons. Martial skills. Oh, now I can create iron armor. What else we got? Okay, that purple, you get the blue of that purple, that 20. You get that from the autopsies with the body, so. Now I know that too. All right, um. Chinto Butcher. Theology, light of faith, comfort of faith, business of faith, power of faith. Paper crafting. Okay, there we go. So how do we, let me see, how do we do that though? Furnace. Carpenter's workbench. How do we, see that's the thing, it, it's not telling you how. Say what I'll do. I'm gonna go. On, I'm gonna go ahead. Go back to the church and see if we can craft it from the study. Sometimes at the study, it might be a pop up on that. workbench I think we have to build that I really do we already have a study table it's right here yeah we need to get some let me see what is it asking for nails that's what nails and complex complex metals for ten nails we got the wood, we just don't have the nails and the... I need 
walking around with this anymore. We can just put this in here. So then when we go to bury somebody, it automatically be selective. Eat it all. We can automatically bring it up. All right. Um. Hated the town real quick. Jesus, that that's quick. Dropped off a corpse. Um, let's see what that blacksmith is selling. We know what he sells. I'm gonna try to check his prices. So I'm gonna buy these metals so I can build my own like ore thing, anvil. Sixty, twenty-two, two and fifty. Nails is I think this is how much I need. I think it is. Hold on, let me see how much we get from these deeds first and then I'll uh come back and buy it. ahead and bury this get the uh, certificate come back sell it to the barkeep then we'll start making purchases because there's that goblin dude or wherever he is in our basement in, in the cellar as well and I want to clear that blockage down there too Oh, now he wants to talk. <laughs> Looks like you're doing all right here. Yeah, I just opened the church. So now you own everything here? Yes, I guess. Congratulations! You're a lucky man. You've acquired all this capital. You'll work for yourself. I was say capitalism. You're a true capitalist now. But this world has no such reward for a hard-working donkey like me. Even you are benefiting from my cheap labor. I fear I cannot call you comrade any longer. Wow. But I won't just lie down and take it. Here's a little present just for you. Now what is that? Ew, did he... Wow! He left us a steaming pile of crap. Oh, donkey. So what, are you a, a cleric now? It seems so. Hmm, I don't remember anything after my death. Maybe there's nothing there. Or maybe I just forgot everything and music can be a useful skill. You know what I mean, my friend? Okay, two skulls, what we don't want. Let's see, so I think, extract blood. Oh, I took a skull down. So will you, oh yeah. I see what the, uh, he was saying in the tutorial now and what Splatter Cat was saying it. But it's also probability based too. So if you go too much, it might add a skull. Add a red skull, which is what we don't want. So we'll extract the fat. Mm. 
Nope, it's still there. What is this? What the heck is that? Well, one skull isn't gonna hurt my, my, my graveyard, so. Let's go ahead and bury him. Whoops. Dude left us a steaming pile of crap. <laughs> All right. All right, let's give him this. Alright guys, thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you liked the episode, drop a like and subscribe to help the channel and the series grow. Alright, don't forget to turn on notifications that way you don't miss an upload from your boy. I'm out of here.